debuted, they sold out in minutes from Ristelli's. Ah! Ristelli's is doing meatballs. And when I talked about when you serve food to the people you love, it's beautiful. Nothing says labor of love in the kitchen like a homemade meatball. And the secret to the best meatball, the ingredients, particularly the meat mixture, not just beef, not just beef and pork. You need the Italian trifecta. That means beef, pork and veal mixed with fresh herbs, cheese. You've got yourself a real Nona's meatball. You are getting five pounds, five one pound bags. Look in front of me. If you took two of these Ristelli meatballs, put them on top of a little bit of spaghetti. It could be ziti, it could be linguine. Doesn't matter what shape your noodle. You get 12 dinners. And then some, how about lunch? Meatball subs, oh yeah, this is coming to you on three easy payments of $25.67. They're so popular, we can't ship them right away. You're gonna reserve your meatballs now, and trust me, you wanna do that. They'll ship out May 18th, lock in automatically with auto delivery, why? Because when you fall in love with a truly homemade, hand-rolled Italian meatball, you're gonna wanna keep it coming. You get to lock in this price, Every 90 days for a year, five pounds of meatballs delivered to your door. You don't have to spend the hours it takes to make them. And trust me, it takes hours all day. You just thaw them, heat them, and eat them. I want to go to the phones because the owner of Ristelli Meats out of South Jersey is joining us by phone, Ray Ristelli. Hi, Ray. It's Stacy. How are you? Hi, Stacy. It's so good to be here with you today. It is so awesome. I jumped on this and ordered it early when I found out it's my show because I know when you debuted these just a couple weeks ago, these sold out in minutes. You couldn't even get through your presentation <laughs> with Alberti. Um, and I know this is your mom's recipe. Tell me about the tradition. Yeah, you know, and you said it, a labor of love, you know, and, and this, as a little boy, you know, my job was to roll. My mom would do the mix, I would do the rolling, and then my dad would do the frying, and, and we make them the same way today. But the key with this is it's made with beef, pork, and veal, and, and that really gives you the flavor, it gives you the texture, the tenderness, but then we also add into that Pecorino Romano real egg whites fresh herbs, garlic, onion, parsley, a little salt and pepper, and then we roll them. But the secret to this, Stacey, and you're going to notice how soft these meatballs are, is that when we put our bread in, it's not bread crumb. We take Italian loaves of bread, we mm -hmm. soak them in water, and then we pull that bread apart, and then we softly fold that bread actually into it, and then you hand roll. That's why these meatballs, you will just use a fork. To cut these you do not need a knife um so <laughs> right i'm using a plastic fork that's how soft and tender these are yes, i'm using know. a plastic cheap kind of like get through the drive through fork no problem so tender and you're right the hand rolling keeps that meat so soft and tender and melt in your mouth because overworked meat is where a lot of people go wrong that's exactly right. And, you know, these meatballs are also very large. They're two-ounce meatballs, so they're very, very big. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the sauce, too, Stace, because, mm -hmm. you know, to make a really great Italian meatball in sauce, you have to also cook it in sauce. So what we do with our sauce is we take imported whole tomatoes from Italy. We cook these down for six hours, and then we puree them. And then we mix in onion, garlic, basil, a little olive oil, mm. salt, and pepper. And then for two, we put the meatballs in the sauce and we simmer them for two more hours. So when you cut into that meatball with your fork or you bite into it, you not only get the incredible mm. flavor of the beef, pork, and veal and all the fresh herbs, but you get that incredible uh, sauce from those whole imported tomatoes from Italy. And we put them in a package that makes it simple. It's sim so simple because you just heat and serve them. In fact, I had them for lunch today. That's how easy it was. I bring them to my office. I throw the pack in the microwave, and me and my son had meatball sandwiches out of one pack. Oh, that sounds so yeah. good. Little french fries, tater tots on the side. This is how this is going to come. You're going to get five one-pound back packages, five, totals, so you, uh, five bags total. So you don't need to make these right away. And then, frankly, I love what you did here, Ray. The bags are small enough that if I forgot to take them out to thaw them, honestly, just run them under hot water for a little bit, cut the pouch, put it in a saucepan and let it slowly simmer on your stovetop because they're fully cooked they're going to be ready for you 
in about 20 minutes. So even if, you know, every the whole day gets past you and you forgot to take these out, you're still going to have an amazing dinner. How about the Dolce Vita ravioli that we sell here at QVC? Throw these on the side of that. Again, you could get a big heaping bowl of pasta, enough for Rick Domeyer. Mm. You would need a fifth <laughs> meatball for David Venable. I got to tell you something. You know, you know what's so, <laughs> when I describe these, you know the first way I would describe them, uh, Stace, uh, would be trust and mm. consistency and credibility. Because not all meatballs are created equal. Mm -mm. And I was the first guy to, to be lucky enough to work with Ray Ristelli, and I gotta tell you something. It's consistency, it's quality, it's knowing that the ingredients are gonna be there. If I'm gonna get a meatball, Right? I want the best meatball in the world. I'm gonna get a Ristelli meatball. Well, a lot of us aren't even getting to our favorite Italian restaurant. You're right. Or we might like their meatballs, right? Or we can't get together for Sunday supper with the family. We used to do that growing up. My grandmother was Italian, so I know all about the labor of love with meatballs. And she was the trifecta with me. It had to be peak. Uh, beef, pork, and veal. And back then, when I was a little girl, you couldn't get that at the supermarket. You had to go to the local butcher and hope he still had some. We're still not getting together as family. Here is a way to taste, you know, the memories of maybe growing up with your grandmother who would spend hours while you're at church creating this. We have 900 left and that is it. These are going very quickly and you're locking in with auto delivery. Again, I encourage you to do that. You can cancel the auto delivery anytime. You can even delay future shipments if you haven't gotten through your quantity, but at least you're guaranteed to get them on this easy pay, which is not always there uh, at $25.67 and at this price. Look at what five pounds of amazingly hand rolled meatballs with the pork, the beef and the veal, the smell of the garlic coming through, the fresh herbs, the fresh parsley, another one of those key ingredients, the Pecorino Romama. Gray, my grandmother used to soak her bread in milk. Um, so I know you mentioned it's, it's, yeah. it's soaked in water, but mm -hmm. again, painstaking steps, a lot of ingredients to make a good meatball. You've done all the work for us. You know, you have to start with the very best. And when you start with beef, pork, and veal, you really ensure you're going to get flavor. You're going to get the texture and you're going to get the tenderness. But the key with it is to always use fresh ingredients. So the Pecorino Romano, the real egg whites, mm -hmm. fresh herbs, garlic, onion, parsley, salt, pepper. And when you cut into the meatball, you will actually see the fresh herbs. It's not, it's, you know, it's not these little particles that you don't know what they are. You'll actually see they're real herbs. But then when you take real Italian loaves of bread and you pull them apart, it tastes like your mother did it in milk. We do it in water. And then we add that and fold it in very lightly. That's what makes this so soft. And, you know, I've had so many compliments from folks who said to me, you know, this reminds me of my grandmother's meatball. Mm -hmm. And for me, this brings back every Sunday because every Sunday in our house, uh, in my in my mother's house was meatballs and and of course my grandkids now come to my house on Sundays Aww. and that's what we do on Sundays at my house so all ten of my grandkids have learned how to roll meatballs. You know, there's there's no worry that a meatball can't fix. That's yeah. what I learned growing <laughs> up. And you have them here, the best ones. And you're right, you can cut into that meatball and know it's a good one just from the texture and seeing all those ingredients. M68538 is your item number. Again, these are going quickly. Do not miss the opportunity to get them home. You can create 12 dinners. Ray Rostelli, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us via phone. This is just ultimate perfection. 600 available. You have a great night, Ray. Thank we'll talk you to so you much. Soon. Thank you too. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Like I said, 600 left. It's going quickly. Locking in with that auto delivery is going to be your best bet to keep a good thing rolling. I couldn't even get ground beef the other day at the supermarket. It was gone. So even if I wanted to make homemade meatballs, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Here, yeah, I don't got to worry about it. <gasps> do we have a little bit of Florida sunshine coming our way in the show, my friend Rick? Yes, we do. It's, not a, it's not a key lime pie. No. It's, it's, it's a key lime butter.